Edenvale Airport. Automated weather observation, one, three, one, three, Zulu. Mixer's rich. Zero. Eight, zero. Carp heat is cold. Zero. Knots. Master zero. is on. Master Celsius. alternator is on. Prime. Five Celsius. Two, two shots three. of primer. Zero. Zero. Five inches of mercury. Switch over to the Unicom. We don't need to hear the AWOS anymore. So we've primed it. And next thing on the checklist is our throttle, eighth of an inch. Good. Area is clear. And here we go. Start it up. There we are, we're at about 1,000 RPM. Pressure's coming up into the green. Numbers coming up pretty quickly. There we go, we're good. Beacon on, taxi on, and I'm gonna put the nav lights on. So, welcome friends. Welcome back to the airplane. I know that it's been a while. We haven't uh, we haven't really done anything since that first flight of getting this aircraft in the air. And um, I thought I'd just take you on a little flight this morning and we'll talk about what's next and um, what I have been doing uh, since that first flight in February. It is now May, I don't know, May 7th. It's now May 7th. Um, and I've been flying this plane and um, getting some instructions. So we'll talk about that. Let's just taxi out and uh, and see. So, go through my checklists. I'm gonna cut out most of the checklists because, you know, I don't think you need to see everything. Um, so if you're looking at this as flight instruction or it's edited, it's changed, uh, you're not gonna see the whole deal. So, belts, there's no passenger. Flaps are up. AWAS is taken care of, altimeter set, transponder set, taxi light is on, brakes, brakes work, how about that, and uh, we don't have to worry about the compass, so we'll taxi down and we'll do a run up. Now Edenvale is an uncontrolled airport, and uh, so there's no tower, and I've been flying here for about uh, three or four months now. Um, even before we finished Mike Victor Uniform, I was up here flying with some other people, and it is usually completely empty. Um, there's often not anybody here. Ah. Oh no! Good thing I'm on the ground, I might have got sucked out. I don't have my parachute on. Um, anyway, so like I was saying, there's usually nobody here. There's someone going up for some flight instruction. I'll, uh, I'll let them taxi through, figure out what they're doing. I mean, there's a guy getting instruction. He's paying for the plane, he's paying for the instructor, and I don't want to get in his way. This is, <laughs> I own this. The only thing I'm burning is gas. And I've got all day. I mean, the joy, I gotta tell you the joy that this brings me is absolutely incredible. Um, knowing that I've got all day Saturday, I don't have anywhere to be, I don't have anything to do, all I have to do is enjoy myself in this aircraft. Um, and I, I know that a lot of people wouldn't find this enjoyable, but I, I hope, I hope that you people watching at home have something that you really enjoy doing that brings you uh, puts a giant smile on your face and it doesn't have to be anything big, it can be something really simple. One of the other things that really puts a smile on my face is brewing beer. And we had a, we had a brewing channel on YouTube for a while and then I realized that filming it while brewing was just uh, too much. There's, it's, I'd lost the enjoyment. And I'm really worried that filming is going to um, change my enjoyment level of flying which is why I haven't really filmed anything to this point. I've been flying with a guy named Mike. Um, he is an instructor. He's a 30-some-odd-year veteran of a major Trans-Pacific airline flying 777s. And um, he's been helping me out regain my, my currency um, because I had been 10 years without flying. I got my license about 25 years ago. It's been about 10 years without flying and I needed to go back through my currency training um, with a flight instructor just to make sure that I was competent on, on everything that, uh, that you need to do. 
And so we've gone through that now, and I'm competent. Um, but my my landings still suck. So I've spent a lot of time with him. We did uh, we did spin training. Uh, so we did spin training. We did you know stalls. We did slow flight and all of those things. All of those emergency procedures. You know engine out, all of that sort of thing. And I I put cameras on the outside of the plane, and then. You know, I, I, I'm just learning to work with these GoPros, and I I don't know if they're always on. And at certain points, they did cut out, and so we didn't catch a lot of the stuff. This one on the on the dashboard um, overheats and becomes a problem and just shuts off. So at some point during this flight, if that just shuts off, that's why. So, and I let all of that go. I didn't worry about filming anything, um, mainly because I wanted to focus on flying the airplane, regaining proficiency, and learning how to use these panels. And these panels are over the top, off the charts, um, crazy impressive to me. So much information, so much more information than I've ever had before. Yeah, traffic off to Bob Fox, Trump, 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 Ranger, five miles south, southeast, one point five, inbound, uh, doing a tight rate based for zero eight landing to meet April, approximately four minutes. Heat mail traffic is called to Bob Fox, Trump. Okay, so there's someone coming in. Okay, so there we go. Finally, um, the plane that was in front of me he wasn't making any radio calls, um, and there's someone coming in on final on the runway that he's taxiing on. Anyway, so we're going to do our run-up. Um, enough of me babbling. We'll do my run-up, and then I'll uh, we'll get in the air and I'll tell you what's next for Mike Victor uniform. Okay. Slightly into the wind. Here we go. Run-up. Fuel is set on both. Trim is set for takeoff, which is neutral. Flight controls. There we go. Uh, free and correct. Instruments are set, no warnings, fuel selectors on both. I put that on twice because that's something that I I know that I used to forget and I'm trying to put things on my checklist twice so that um, I remember to do them. There you're supposed to check off the checklist as you go. Primer is in and locked. RPM 2, 1600. 1600 and everything is in the green so our Battery bolts are good, our amps are good, our oil is in the green, our pressure and temperature are fine. Eagle traffic in the Tango Tiles on the roll, 08. And now the mag the check. Left. Slight drop, not much. Right. Same thing. Slight drop, not much. Pull on our car heat. And so we don't get much of a drop on the carb heat right now because our carb temperature is 57 degrees Fahrenheit, 58. When I put it in, we're still above 50 Fahrenheit. Uh, it's quite warm here this morning. It's nice. Spring is here. And then we pull this down to idle. And that's not the engine backfiring. That's the prop. Someone explained it to me. Anyway, that's the prop. So there we go. We're, um, we're idling at around 400 RPM, which is pretty good, and we're not cutting out, so back to 1,000. There's our run-up. So, before takeoff, cabin doors, we're good. Flight controls, still free and correct. Um, just making sure that nothing's hitting. Nothing's hitting on my lap or on the, the iPad smack in here can be a problem. Both. Rich. Trim. Flaps. Carp heat is off. Radios are set. Beacon is on. Lights are on. Strobe's on. Throttle friction lock. Pretty good. Oh, there we go. It's a helicopter. And... Time is it? 9.24 a.m. So there we go, he's clear of the runway. Can you turn the pump off track? Clear of all the active runways, touching down the pump. Heat 
Eatonville traffic, Foxtrot, Mike Victor Uniform holding short of 0826 for backtrack 08, Eatonville. Uh, I think they've left the pattern, I don't hear them. I don't see anyone. Okay. Eatonville traffic, Mike Victor Uniform backtracking 08 for departure, Eatonville. So this is runway 0826 at Edenville, it is the shorter runway. Um, it doesn't get used as often, it's, uh, it's often not the one that the wind favors, but it is the one that right beside it, they've got a turf runway um, for all those guys that want to come in and land on grass. It's a pretty nice little airport. Um, Fuel prices are pretty good, and uh, it used to have a restaurant, but the restaurant is now closed, and they're not going to reopen another restaurant here, which is kind of a shame. Um, having a restaurant at an airport is one of those things that really draws people. Okay, lined up. Runway 08. Edenville traffic, Mike Victor Uniform taking off runway 08, Edenville. Start to full. Smash on the right, keep the ball centered. Airspeed's alive. Here we go. And we're off. No. Oh. Lots smoother than I thought it would be. I figured there'd be some bumps as I got off. There we go. There's the bumps. Ah! That's why I love flying. I like a little bit of bump, even though sometimes my face might not show it. I'm sure my face looks terrified at points. There we go. Into the sun. Edenville traffic, Mike McDean Farm, downwind 08 Edenville. So, turn into the downwind for runway 08. So, downwind checks. Everything's on. Breakers in, throttle mixture rich, car heat on, primer locked, both, trim set. So I think we'll do, uh, we'll do one landing, um, and then we'll head off and we'll just fly around and we'll talk. Okay, oh, back to 1600. 10 degrees of flaps. Nose up. There we go. Boot 80. And we'll turn base. We'll bring in 20 flaps. About a 500, 500 foot descent. And I'm holding about 70 here for speed. Nobody else in the pattern. Nice. Okay. I'm, I'm, my landings so far have been pretty poor. Um, Ten years of not flying has certainly hurt my landing ability. Um, and I'm not too worried about it because next week we're taking the plane back into Chris's shop and we're going to do some work on the wings. We're going to put on a sportsman stole cuff. Edenville traffic, Mike Victor uniform, turning final 08 full stop, Edenville. We're going to put on a sportsman stole cuff. Um, we're going to put on wing X wing extension, so we're going to add three feet of wing um, to the to the airplane and vortex generators. And so between those three changes, um, how I land this plane is going to change. Not completely change, but it's going to change. Um, I'm going to say completely change. Speeds are going to change. 
Uh, touchdown distance is going to change. Takeoff is going to change. Not a greaser. Not a greaser. Got it down. We're safe. We're good. Um, and it will get better. Edenville traffic. Mike Victor Uniform backtracking 08 for takeoff. Edenville. So we'll do reset. Both car heat off. Mixture rich. Locked. Taxi and landing. A little bit of crosswind. Edenville traffic. Mike Victor Uniform taking off 08. Edenville. Shiny spring day. Birds. Edenville traffic, my quick uniform departing to the northeast, climbing to 3000. Edenville. Okay, so I don't, I don't have anywhere to go. I don't have anywhere to do, nothing to, uh, no place to be, like I said earlier. And I'm not filing a flight plan. I'm just gonna fly around the airport here, around Lake Simcoe. Um, and just kinda, just getting the feel for the aircraft. Um, that's been the big thing, is learning this, uh, learning this panel. And so, Go to full on the six pack. So, so far, really all I've been using is this six pack um, and the engine instruments. I haven't really dug too deeply into the rest of what's going on here. Um, I do see, I do see aircraft uh, every once in a while on the ADSB. Not that often though, because you know, it's not required here. ADSB is not required. So uh, you don't see a lot of uh, aircraft on it. And we've set up the angle of attack indicator, but um, again, when we redo the wing next week, that is going to, uh, that's going to change completely. Um, so we're going to have to reset that up. And that's when I'm going to start to dig into more of the, uh, more of the, the really deep cuts within the Dynon. So underneath is uh, Wasaga Beach, Wasaga Beach, depending on whether you live there or you don't live there. <laughs> Wasaga, 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 Wasaga. Um, point of contention. One thing I have been playing, I have been playing with, um, with the Dynon is uh, how, it, how it connects to foreflight. And the connection is really great. You can plan everything in foreflight and then it, send it to Dynon, so your flight plan. Um, to the Dynon, and then all the information shows up here and on the map, and it really helps you uh, go from place to place. Uh, I've been playing around with my fuel usage, but again, until I change the wing, I'm not going to get too uh, too caught up in that. But so far, I've found um, 
at 2300 RPM for cruising at, you know, you know, five, six thousand feet. Uh, this aircraft is burning 6.1 gallons an hour, which is, is pretty good. Um, the book says that it should be burning eight, I think. Um, so we're, we're doing pretty well on that. And that's with it on peak. Um, you have the option with this, it really gets, you know, granular. That you can go lean of peak, rich of peak, it tells you what percentage of horsepower you're using, um, for, or what percentage of horsepower the engine is producing of its total. Um, got all of the engine instrument down here now. Oh, you know what we can do? We can take the screen protector off. Look at that. Screen protector off. So that's it. Um, the next few videos are going to be of uh, me and Chris and another guy coming in from Quebec called Andre. Um, Paul is coming up from Wing X and they make the extensions. So he's coming up from, from Montreal. Paul, uh, this other guy, Andre, is coming up from, uh, from Quebec City and he's going to actually install it for us. Um, and Chris and I are going to do a little bit of work on the engine. We're going to do the first oil change. Um, because this aircraft uh, doesn't have an oil filter, we're going to put an oil filter adapter on the aircraft, uh, on the engine. So we're going to put that on, and there's a couple of little tiny little things that we want to change, but um, for the most part, this came out of the shop, set up, and has been flying beautifully. So uh, come on back next week, um, no, two weeks from now, two weeks from now your time, and you'll see the video um, as we start to pull it into the shop and do that other work. Um, I want to thank everyone for your support. This channel is going to continue. I know a lot of people thought that maybe the channel was done once we got the first flight out. This channel will continue. Um, we will be flying this plane everywhere. Julie's really excited to get in here with me um, and take off and, and go and, uh, and explore uh, probably first southern Ontario and Quebec and then, uh, and then get some trips in down, down south to visit my family in Arkansas, Texas. So, we're going to continue. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon. Ooh, it's a little bumpy. Eden Gulf traffic, Mike Victor Uniform 5 to the south at uh, 2600, descending to pattern altitude, uh, crossing overhead to join the left downwind for 08. Eden Gulf traffic. Bell traffic on Summer Kilo, five nautical miles to the southeast, going to be descending to 1700 feet to join, or overfly to join the left downwind for 08. We'll keep an eye out for you, but I don't see you yet. Mike Victor Uniform, I have you inside, I'll follow behind you. Mike Victor Uniform, still looking, I don't see you yet. Okay. I should be uh, directly behind you, so you probably won't be able to see me. Cool.
Eatonville traffic, uh, LT, Lima Tango Hotel on the roll on 08. Eatonville traffic, my sister, you're from pattern altitude directly above T608. I'm going to do my downwind. Everything's on, everything's in. Carb sheet on. Locked. Both. Mixture rich. Edenville traffic. Mike 15 to form joining downwind 08. Edenville. And speed back. Ten degrees of flaps. There we go. Beauty. Eighty-five. Speed rail traffic. Golf up one kilo overhead. Zero eight two six. To join the left downwind for zero eight. And you've got traffic in the hotels on the uh, left crosswind for zero eight. Getting ready to turn downwind now for zero eight number two. Not call the inside all joint downwind behind you. Edenville traffic, Mike 15 from turning final 08, full stop, Edenville. Eagle traffic, Lima Tango Hotel is uh, final for 08 number two. Eagle traffic, golf up my kilo, left base for 08, touch and go. Edenville traffic, Mike Vickery from clear of the active on the apron, Edenville. 